oh, day trading, that's risky. It's not. Day, day trading isn't risky. Learning how to day trade with real money when you have no data or information that backs you up is what's risky. If you're trading an edge in a process that you have found through the collection of data and information using the scientific method, what would be the risk? The risk would be to not execute the trade. Taking trades with real money when you have no proof that that is even worth doing is what's the risky part of learning how to day trade. The other question that people say is, well, oh, that takes a lot of money to get into. No, it doesn't. It takes you the cost of the data for the simulator and the coaching. That's it. That's the total cost. Data, platform, simulator, coaching. That's very easy to figure out. And so instead of people thinking that it's this $25,000 because they heard their friend talking about some sort of rule or something like that, what you tell them is the only thing it costs is your time, to be quite honest. And they, and they, they, they get thrown back. Like they've heard of all the people that have lost trading and day trading is hard and it's expensive. And to be quite honest, it's not. It's, it's just, it's data platform fees and your coaching and your mentorship fees. Hopefully you're not paying somebody an absorbent amount of money on that either. So that'll really help you uh, moving forward. Now, 100% of them say, oh, I've always wanted to do that. Isn't that expensive to learn how to do? No, it's not. Your friend that lost 250 grand on Amazon calls? Yeah, that was expensive to do. Uh, people just put money in because they truly believe that they're smarter than the game that was created by the smartest people. That's the real stubborn part of human. We don't even realize it, right? We think, oh, well, that guy made 150 grand. It's like, okay, so he won, he got 150 grand once. He's probably lost it all since then. He probably lost 95 grand learning how to make that 150 grand. So is he really up 150 grand. Here's a perfect way to look at it. Professional poker players, it shows that they've made $5 million in tournament earnings. What people don't realize is most of them have $4.5 million in buy-ins to win that $5 million. So they're really only up 500 grand over 10 years of playing poker in that aspect. The real money, here's the sleight of hand, the real money that the professionals make in poker is made from the cash tables. Then what they do is they take the money from the cash tables, which is the easiest way to siphon money into their pockets as a professional. Then what they do is they take that small amount of money from what they've won on the cash tables and they take a little buy-in for a huge piece of money into the big tournaments. Well, that's how the professional traders do it too. That's how they do it. They're sitting there back in the cut, back in the little cash tables, making their daily grind of two to three to 500 to a thousand dollars a day grinding while the rest of the world is following the sleight of hand on the, I just made $17,000 today in my uh, funded account. While the rest of the real professional traders are literally making their thousand dollars a day, $500 a day, every single day of their life without even thinking about it. There's no stress. There's no drama. Most of their friends don't even know they do it. Right. And so that's, there's the YouTube world. Then there's the real world where, you know, making $600 to a thousand dollars a day, maybe $2,000 on a really good day. That is how trading really works, you know? So controlling that narrative, it's not popular, but it's real. You know, like when people come into the room and they see me up $600, well, yeah, but this guy only makes six hundred dollars in a day. That guy, other that other guy on YouTube, he made forty seven thousand dollars on eighteen contracts. Pulling the trigger on eighteen contracts is the most crazy thing you'll ever do in your entire life. Watching somebody do it on a video, they are practiced, they are rehearsed, they've done it a thousand times. You pull fifteen contracts. Uh, who was telling the story? They bought a couple of those accounts and they just went fifteen contracts deep. He won the first one or two uh, and then never won again. Um, I don't remember who that was, like somebody in the room, and they were just like, yeah, man, you just, you just pull the trigger. And I thought, oh, shit, this is easy. <laughs> now, now think about this. Let's times this by 100. The, imagine there's people that don't know combines exist, and they go into their live account. They put $5,000 in it, and they buy five contracts with real money, and all of a sudden they're down $1,000 instantly, and they're going... 
I mean, like, there's no words that they can say, and they're just like, this wasn't, that's not how this looked in the video, right? And millions of people, millions of people have done that. I did that so many, I can't tell you, I can't tell you how many times. Now, the only way to get someone to see the light and stop doing what they're doing, let's step outside of trading for just a second. The only way that we can get someone to do anything in life is present them with the correct circumstance, the facts, and present it to them in a way that they may make an informed change or decision that may change what they're going to do. All we can do is present them with facts and circumstance and they have to make the judgment on their own. Either they're ready to quit losing or they're not. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Either, look, I'm going to look, your, your, your liver's about to give out, sir. You've lost your car. You've lost your house, your dog, your wife, your children. Now your liver's going out. These are the facts. Either you quit drinking or you die. Yeah, but that's drinking. It's like, have you ever seen someone down a half million dollars and they have never made money in their entire life and they've spent $300,000 on educational material? I have. I've talked to this person. This person was so mad at the rest of the things that, they, that he had ever purchased uh, that when I told him that the only thing that he was missing was the data that he just needed to collect instead of buying the next shiny object. Well, now he's a profitable trader in the room every single day. The guy spent $300,000 on course material. I'm not talking losses. I'm not, that's not the losses. That's what he has spent in course material. And then I get on a one-on-one -on -one call with him and I'm like, look, man, the only, I, I said, look, man, this is going to, this is, you're not going to like what I'm about to tell you, but you have to hear this. You can see his face. I'm, he's looking right at me on Zoom. I said, the only thing that you've been missing is, is the scientific process part of this whole thing. And you could just see his face. He was so, he was so mad. And I, I'm kind of shaking thinking about it. He was so mad. I said, yeah, no, just bring in all that you've learned. Look, I'm not going to tell you one chart pattern. I'm not going to talk to you about that stuff. You know more than I do. The only thing that you're missing is collecting the data to get the information that you need to make an informed decision to become a better trader. He instantly saw what he was doing wrong. We corrected it. I didn't even have to do a second session with the guy. One session, now I'm not saying I'm a miracle worker, but what I'm saying is I just told him the information that he was missing. And, and it's the same thing that happened to me. Now I wasn't 200, 300 grand into coaching. Um, I was 80 grand into losing, which is the same thing. Once my guy told me, look, man, just here's the circumstance. Go with it or don't. It's your choice. I was like, oh man, he's challenging me now.